One area where there's a lot of confusion uh, on the part of home gardeners is fertilization. When you go to the store, there's a dizzying array of fertilizers that are available and the fertilizer companies want you to think you have to get a separate food for every plant. There's tomato food, there's rose food. Here we even have a petunia food. The dirty little secret is they're all almost the same. They adjust the formula just a little bit and so they'll say it's a bloom buster if it has a big middle number in the three number formula. In fact, uh, there's enough of that number in any fertilizer to satisfy plants. So what does the home gardener need to know about fertilizer? For your plants in the ground, there's only two fertilizers you need. Number one, you need a balanced fertilizer to spread on the ground and mix in and till in before you plant your vegetables and annuals. Throw a handful or two of a balanced fertilizer around each shrub um, every spring. The numbers, specific numbers aren't important, it's just that it be even. I like 10, 10, 10, 11, 21, 11, 5, 10, 5, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it's under 20 so it doesn't burn. You don't need to buy expensive general purpose fertilizer. Spread it about like you would pepper on an egg on the ground before tilling. The second fertilizer we recommend is for a mid-season boost. It's ammonium sulfate. It's 20 zero, zero, and it has an additional element, sulfur, which lowers the pH. Lowering the pH on the northern prairie is crucial. A high pH, which almost all of us have on the northern prairie, locks up a lot of the nutrients that are in the soil. All you have to do to release those nutrients is put on something that lowers the pH, and ammonium sulfate 20-0020 is ideal. So two fertilizers are all you need for your plantings in the ground. A 10-10-10 to sprinkle on and till in, and ammonium sulfate for a boost later. What about plants in pots? That's a different deal. They need a little more fertilization. There's two fertilizers for that purpose as well, no matter what kind of plant you're dealing with. Number one, you should use these fertilizer beads. This is a specific uh, brand and it's very good. Mix it according to the instructions in the soil, in the pot before you plant, and those beads will release fertilizer as needed throughout the season. However, potted plants use so much fertilizer that you should also apply a water-soluble fertilizer throughout the season. We prefer to do it weekly, particularly with petunia baskets, which really are heavy feeders. But it's important just to get a balance. This one's 20-20-20. Um, that's fine. Uh, it's a balanced fertilizer. They all work as long as they're balanced and under 20. These tips are taken from successful gardening on the northern prairie. The chapter on soils and fertilizing is the most important chapter in the book. I think if you read and absorb that chapter, you'll save enough money the first year on fertilizing to pay for the book. At least I hope so. Check it out at www.ericbergeson.com.